Inichka chef and welcome to my kitchen. Today in episode we are making sea bass. Sea bass Mediterranean style with a little bit of pasta. We need sea bass and it's look how beautiful, gorgeous, two big filet. I believe can I believe can serve four people if you have something with side dish to go with like pasta or rice or roasted vegetables or salad. <laughs> But um, I like to divide in half and or serve as it is. Um, another ingredient important is uh, pasta. And I'm using homemade and I will link below in blog how I make this, this pasta sauce. It's very easy. Another ingredient in typical in all Mediterranean cuisine is tomato, onion, leek, parsley, garlic, and lots of garlic, and one jalapeno pepper and lemon, Maya lemon also peas, frozen peas, and cherry tomatoes. That's it about olive oil, black pepper, salt, and a little bit of white wine. That's all we need. This dish comes together in no time, and it's pretty healthy. It's not fried, it's baked. Slightly different um, than typical bass you would find in the restaurant, baked in butter. This uh, more olive oil, but it's still so delicious, and you will enjoy this recipe. What we need, um, chopped onion, leek, but leek we need to wash. I'm crying for my Nice thing about this dish, you can do all prep ahead of time and just put together for dinner um, or for your gas. It's pretty nice and elegant dish in the last minute, so it's very easy. And on medium heat, a generous amount of olive oil, like about two, two, three tablespoons. I like to add like one teaspoon of fennel seed. And fry just for 30 seconds or minute and the old fragrance, everything will be released and so beautiful aroma, unbelievable. Like I said, it's optional, but it's a nice addition to the dish. And we need to add onions, red onion, salt, black pepper, and cook for another two minutes. And Filipino peppers, and I try to discard most of the seeds. Look how beautiful green color! I love it. And the tomatoes. I love to use cherry tomatoes for this recipe because it's so sweet and. Um, it just gives better flavor. You can use easily canned tomatoes, but I really prefer cherry tomatoes. Little bit of wine. Increase the heat. Balance the Now at this point, we are ready to move to the baking dish. I like to arrange a little bit of sauce. Look how beautiful and delicious. We skin down and top with rest of Oh my god. 
that. The fish so soft, so flaky, so delicate, elegant flavor. And if you like fennel and pesto flavor, if you like pizza, this dish, this fish, so delicious. Even for some very picky eaters who don't like fish, this dish, you must try. Thanks for watching and remember for the full recipe, I always link in the description below. And if you like this recipe, give me a like and subscribe, share with your friends and family. Bye, see you next time.